Hey, what's up? The Brew Dude is back here with another beer. So I have another beer here that is not readily available for, I mean, you can't just go to the store and get it. This here was brought to me by a good friend, a good family, a good someone dear to me that travels to Mexico a lot. So this here is made in Mexico. This beer here is a Cuauhtémoc, Cuauhtémoc Montezuma beer. This one's called Indio. It's a, according to the instructions here, not instructions, I guess, uh, I don't know, whatever it's called. Uh, it's a dark beer that has been put together by malt, caramel, and corn. It's 4.1% alcohol by volume. Um, and that's really it. Uh, no, well here it's a uh, no sell to minors. So it's an 18 and over. If you're 18 and over, you can go buy this. Monterrey. All right. Cool. Nice can. Check that out once again. There's a lot of a lot of good writing here in the back, but I'm not gonna read that. I'm gonna drink it. So you wanna pour this bad boy? Oh yeah, look, it's a nice amber amber lager. Cause this style of lager. Wow, look at that color. That looks awesome. So it's a reddish brown color, which looks amazing. Tan head has a nice deep skunk smell of a Mexican lager. <sighs> get a little sweetness. I don't get a lot of corn. I get some hops in there for sure. Wow, it smells really, really good. It smells really, really good. And the color is freaking wonderful look at that it's like a reddish brown cheers hmm <coughs> very carbonate off the front which I don't mind um, Little sweetness for sure. Not as bitter as I as it as you assume they would be based on the scent, because the scent is complex. Very skunky. A lot of scent. It's uh I don't wanna call it bland. It's just a tiny bit dull. But at the end, at the beginning it's carbonated, it's sweet, it's you can taste some of those sugar qualities to it. Then mid-range, the carbonation leaves. You're getting the, the little bit of corn, I guess, flavor, taste, uh, the malt. And then and then it doesn't end sweet or anything, you know? It's very light beer. It's only a 4.1% alcohol beer. So it's definitely a beer to drink a lot. So it, it kind of gives a little bit more complex flavors for those lighter um, lagers. I guess that caramel gives it just a tad bit of, I don't even call it smokiness, but more caramelized flavor. I gotta say that's pretty damn good. <coughs> it's a damn good beer. I'm looking at it as like an amber ale or an amber lager, right? Uh, it's gonna have the qualities of a lager. Slight caramelization. I don't get too much of the corn, but I do get some malt at mid-range, and it ends kind of, if you've ever been in a corn, uh, my, my family, they grew corn. And when they're cutting the corn and processing the corn, there's corn dust, right? And you inhale that, unfortunately, and you taste it, right? That's what it tastes like at the end, like a corn, like like a corn plant, right? Not plant, but processing plant. Um, a slight sweet, but it ends pretty, pretty fast. It's just dry. Body's about a little bit uh, medium to light, more on the medium side. Actually, probably between light and medium. But it's damn good, man. Try it out if you can get a hold of it, that's for sure. Don't expect a crazy beer. Don't expect complex beer. 
Uh, it's an amber lager. A good drinking beer. If you want to drink like 15 of these, you'll probably be able to drink them. You'll be fine. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and liking. And with that said, the Brew Dude is out.